What was the best thing the quiet kid has said or done in class? Not really saying more shocking. And it was me. I was the lonely quiet kid legit what I did in primary school recess and lunch was walk laps around the school anyways. There was a school kids club on Fridays after school at the church town community hall where most the kids would go. We played games in one area and later all had fish and chips in another. I was in a really bad mood and there was this trend going on where inspired from Aussie football, kids would specky each other. It is basically when someone jumps off another's back to catch the ball. Some jock kid a year older than me decided to do it to me. In a more instinctive self-defense moment I instantly latched onto his arm. Swung him over my shoulder. Slammed him on the ground and he ended up in hospital as I broke his arm. And this sort of thing is why the bull is sorta of backed off from me. In middle school, this annoying kid, who we'll call him Ben, would never shut his mouth, or sit still, and would get everyone in trouble by fighting with the teacher. One day, he wouldn't shut up, and the teacher said, if you talk again, everyone is staying after school for detention. The kid continues to talk. Finally the quiet kid, who was my friend, who was a Muslim girl somewhat important, because Ben picked on her all year for being Muslim. Saying she was gonna bomb the school who was 4 feet 11. Always read in the back. And never spoke unless the teacher asked her a question. She whips her book at his head and yells. Ben. Shut the duck up. We all started laughing. Cause this annoying ass kid got whipped in the back of the head with a book by this quiet young girl. I think she did it because of the shit he said to her that entire year. She got in trouble for hitting a student and swearing. Ben rarely talked in that class ever. She moved away the next year to Texas. I miss her so much. This was in June 2016. She did absolutely nothing but work. She sat alone at break drawing something I'd noticed this as I walked past the area she used to sit on regularly. She literally only spoke when she was called on. And it was so quiet that the teacher either gave up or went closer to her. This is when dabbing was relevant. A group started to form. Everyone showing off their dabs. This girl, who was probably not even 5 feet yet, walks to the front of the cluster and lets out a humongous dab. Everyone either cheered or stared in dead silence. Shocked. It was honestly so funny. Okay. It was like 3 months ago. In the chemistry class. Teacher was making an experiment with crystals. And asked who would like to help her. And at that moment, the girl that was known as the quiet kid not really sociable person gets up and says, I watched all episodes of Breaking Bad. Then she walks up to the teacher and asks what are we cooking today Mr. White. I thought I'm gonna start laughing when the whole class was staring at her weirdly. From that day on she is known as Meth Girl. One day during history class, one of the popular kids part kept touching the quiet kid QK. And the QK told him to stop multiple times. After 9 or so please stop touching me. He upgraded to ducking stop touching me. And yet the teacher never noticed. Finally QK went touch me again. And I'll stab you with my pencil. So what happened? Park touched the QK again. QK took his pencil. And stabbed Park in the shoulder. Pencil was stuck in Park's shoulder and the teacher noticed. And sent him to the office. I'm the quiet kid in my classes, and one day, my bully was being rude to the teacher and said that I'm going to the military and can kill you. I just smugly said no in your grade that's your only choice. He got into trouble for threatening a teacher with violence, and I was told not to make fun or other students. I'll never forget in grade 10 English class, the quiet guy Mark sitting next to me leaned over to pick up his pen that he dropped on the floor and he let out a ripper of a fart. He immediately says, woe must be those barking spiders. A bunch of us just cracked up. In fourth grade, a girl, who I knew in preschool who did talk, didn't say a single, got a word in the entire year because of a trauma that happened. One day she was just passing papers out to the class and accidentally said here to the class bully. He said, can you repeat that? mouse. She turns to look at him, and says, here, and throws the entire goddamn stack of papers at him. We all stared in shock as the guy screamed. A clump of the paper went into his eye and he ended up partially blind. He stopped bullying after that day. 
when I was in middle school. In my class was a really quiet girl named Eva. All the time she was like, hella distracted. She still had perfect grades despite not paying attention in class or ever at all. I don't know. But to me, she always seemed like that kind of person that's secretly crazy. And it turned out true. I had another kid in my class which everyone in the school hated and bullied. Now of course I'm against bullying, but this one kid earns it himself. He goes up to random people and starts insulting and annoying them. And when they say even one word he'd be running and turning back to mock them. Even teachers were sick of him. Back to Eva. There. In 6th grade was the time she absolutely flipped. She was always calm and quiet. Even if that kid was annoying her. But that one time. Shit really went down. She suddenly burst out screaming like a banshee. Like that scream you hear in action movies when someone's about to lose their shit. Then. Eva proceeded to charge at him. And kick his repeatedly in full force. In the end. Even the teacher couldn't restrain her so around 6 kids gathered around. To prevent her from hurting. The kid and talk about how it wasn't worth it to go to jail for such scum like him. At this point she was basically acting like she was posseized. Not only hitting him, but charging at and attacking everyone who tried to stop her. Even the boys from the football team couldn't restrain her. Long story short, she went super saiyan on that kid's ass and got so mad that she blacked out. I'm an 8th grade and friends with a pair of twins. And both of them are super quiet. Although one of them Sarah is a bit bolder than her sister. Her legendary moment came when our class was talking about how plastic six pack rings are dangerous for sea turtles. This annoying slacker kid spoke up and started asking, but why does it matter? Turtles are useless and don't even do anything. How do they even stay alive? Sarah got triggered and turned towards him and muttered something inaudibly. Nobody heard her except for the girl sitting behind her, who started dying of laughter. Everyone looked over and asked her what happened. Still laughing. She repeated what Sarah said you don't do anything but you're still alive. Like any 14 year olds after hearing a good roast. Especially from one of the twins. The class went crazy. Even the teacher was cracking up. The annoying kid just sat there. Dumbfounded. Hopefully. Now he knows not to underestimate the quiet kids. As the quiet good at math kid in class. I'd only talk when someone asked me a math question, or say go away I'm reading, if I was currently reading a book. However that one day, the math teacher goes on explaining an advanced equation, which meant I had about 10 minutes to read after finding the answer before anyone else did. So anyway, this other good at math person, who actually talks a lot, raises his hand after about 8 minutes and gives his answer when the teacher points to him, only when he's done explaining. I wasn't really paying attention, and wasn't too surprised he got the wrong answer as he does once in a while. What really baffled me is, that the teacher agreed. Saying he had the right answer. I suddenly raise my head and the teacher knows something's wrong I never suddenly stop reading like that. He looks to me, and asks what's wrong. And I say they've got the wrong answer. Everyone is now looking at me intensely, as if I'm a weirdo. And the teacher asks, me to explain. I explained that they forgot to do something can't remember too long ago and everyone looks at the teacher in confusion as he goes trot the equation again and finds that I'm right. He congratulates me and goes back to teaching as I continue reading but no one is listening anymore. So he just gives homework and lets us do our things. Everyone wanted to be friends after that which really annoyed me cause they talk too much. Thankfully it came back to normal the next week. I could not have lived the whole year with this much attention. The last class of senior English the teacher asked that we write about a day 10 years in our future and share with the class. First guy to go said he was going to marry a supermodel. The girl who never talked burst out laughing. He just sort of sat down after that. Entirely blowing my own trumpet here. And I understand if no one believes it. I was the quiet kid in class, and I will always remember something I did to a dude who was forever doing anything he could to get under my skin. Scene science class age 17. We were working with dry ice, and the teacher had stepped out for a moment. We sat at tall tables on stools, and while leaning forward, if you wear trousers, 
you know how the very middle back sort of curves outwards and makes a little pocket if you're not wearing a belt. The asshole mentioned before decided it would be funny to drop dry ice down there, which understandably both hurt and pissed me off. I would just stand and let the ice drop down my pant leg then go back to sitting down and chatting quietly with my friends. The guy did it a total of 3 times before I snapped. Just as I hear him come up behind me, I spun around off the stool. Picked him up by his collar he was always pretty short. I'm a bulky lad. Always have been throughout teen years and slammed him down on a nearby bench. Held him there and leaned in real close. Are you gonna do that again? He did not do it again. And I will always cherish the moment of his laughing. Dickhead face changing to fear in less than a second. This girl and I were considered the quiet kids in our middle school. First, I want to say that my fellow QK was a beautiful and brilliant human being and will henceforth be dubbed Steve. In 8th grade, our class was in the computer lab to work on essays. The lab was set up where the tables were round with about 6 computers to a table and if you were in the right seat the teacher would have to walk around the desk to see your screen. Steve. A few other girls and myself had opened up a separate document on Google Docs and had shared each other's accounts so we could chat without breaking the strict no talking rule. We each changed our fonts to distinguish ourselves and it worked like a regular group chat. Steve and I were seated next to each other. All of a sudden we hear from behind us. What do you think you're doing? Our classmates wisely abandoned ship and clicked out of the document before the teacher could reprimand them as well in the original document was steve's the teacher had her hands on her hips and yelled actually yelled some more about how she didn't expect such behavior from us and she was very disappointed she said the only reason she hadn't written steve and up was because we had never done anything like this before we absolutely had and that she was sure we had learned our lesson we absolutely had not there's a reason i was so quiet i was terrified of teachers most all authority figures actually and being yelled at was an absolute nightmare for me. My hands were shaking, and I was definitely about to cry. The teacher finally stomped away, after we had apologized. Steve, cool as a cucumber, leaned over to me and whispered, It's the quiet ones you've got to watch out for. It made me actually laugh out loud, and I had to very quickly mask it as a sneeze, and continue to laugh in my arm. It was so unexpected, and it made me instantly feel better. Steve. All these years later, and you are still my hero. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.